in this video i'll talk about uh, how to use dummy variable in uh, regression modeling uh, before going through this video uh, you must go through my videos on uh, linear regression multiple regression and uh, exploratory data analysis if you don't know sas then you should also go through the sas videos first well what is a dummy variable well dummy variable is one variable uh, you know that takes um, value of 1 and 0 okay so in simple term or in layman term we can say that it takes only two values okay and uh, why do we uh, need to use such a variable so you know we we come across variables like uh, uh, you know gender so you can either be male or female or employed uh, you know unemployed um, credit or the not credit or the uh, citizen not a citizen so we come across a lot of uh, variables wherein the variable takes only two values so we assign one to one particular value and then zero to the other one. For example, if we are taking gender, we assign one to male and zero to the female. Uh, so uh, <coughs> for this particular session, I have taken data from the SAS Health. I have taken data from uh, the CARS data from the SAS Health. Um, and and then i am taking three variables from that data set weight horsepower and then length so uh, i am making the length variable um, an indicator variable or a dummy variable rather. so uh, if if the length is greater than uh, 20 220 then i am creating a length variable length underscore in which takes 1 else it takes 0 ok so how does the data set look like let's just have a look so uh, data consists of horsepower mileage weight and length of different cars ok so uh, you know we, we intend to find out how mileage is dependent on horsepower weight and length so mileage is our dependent variable and then horsepower weight and length are our uh, uh, independent variables and then uh, instead of using length i am creating an indicator variable or a dummy variable uh, by uh, putting a condition that if the length is greater than 220 then i am assigning it uh, as 1 else it's 0 okay so this is a new variable length indicator is a new variable it's created by me and instead of using length in the model we use length indicator so uh, <coughs> we will we will do a multiple regression using proc reg mileage is our dependent variable weight horsepower and length indicator are our uh, independent variables so let's run this regression <coughs> you can see in the parameter estimate length in indicator is significant so t value is 2.3 so uh, it, it's significant so how do we how do we interpret this particular uh, you know variable you know we we have discussed about how to interpret uh, coefficients of continuous variables okay so uh, you know i have i have explained it in detail in in my uh, regression video that if one unit increase in uh, weight happens the corresponding increase in the dependent variable is nothing but the parameter estimate okay so 0 0.003 and since it's negative it's actually decreasing instead of increasing so one unit increase in weight 
decreases the mileage by 0.0037. Okay. How do we interpret a double variable or an indicator variable? We interpret in this way. So this is a comparison between 1 and 0. Okay. So it says that uh, if if, if the length of the car is greater than 220, then the, uh, okay, okay, uh, let, let me put it this way. Um, say for example, there are two cars. One car is having length greater than 220 and the other car is having length less than 220. The difference between the mileage Given that their weight horsepower are same, given all other variables same, weight horsepower are same. So the two variables have got same weight, same horsepower. But there is a difference in their length. One is having a length less than 220, the other one is having length greater than 220. So what is going to be their length in, uh, in the difference in their mileage? The difference in their mileage is nothing but 2.8. So, um, since this is a positive sign, so the one having ha a higher uh, or, or the, the, the car which is having a length greater than 220 will have 2.8 unit higher mileage than the car uh, which is, which is uh, having length less than uh, uh, 220. So that's the way we interpret. So l let me just uh, you know summarize it. So if we interpret the in, uh, dummy variable uh, in this way. Given all other variables uh, you know remaining same, um, you know uh, the uh, mileage difference between the vehicle having lane greater than 220 is 2.8 uh, unit more than the mileage of the vehicle having length less than 220. So that's how we interpret a dummy variable. So uh, you can uh, put as many dummy variable as possible. Uh, so you can put uh, only one dummy variable without using any continuous variable in the model also. That works fine. That's not a problem.